can all see that? You can all hear me? Great. So uh, my name is Scott Nanian. Um, I work for the Wikimedia Foundation. We uh, publish Wikipedia, Wikisource, Wikibooks, not Wiki, Wikilinks, not Wikitribune. Um, and uh, I'm going to describe today how we currently uh, annotate content, uh, broadly speaking, um, without using the fancy new W3C annotation tools, and then hopefully what we uh, uh, hope to do in the future um, using standardized annotations as well. Um, so uh, first, let me uh, describe, our, our goal is to create um, knowledge, um, to allow collaboration to create knowledge without barriers. So there are three interesting properties of annotations on our um, platform on Wikimedia projects. First, uh, neither the source document nor the annotations are static. Um, this isn't write once or update with corrections once a year. Wikimedia and its sister projects get 10 edits a second. Um, maintaining stable anchors is, is um, not just a challenge, it's, it's actually the, the key part of the uh, um, project. Uh, there isn't a single author or editor of the base document nor of the annotation. This is a, a collaborative process. Um, there are 30 million user accounts on Wikipedia, of which you know, over 100,000 are active editors um, who have edited in the past 30 days. Uh, there's deliberately no ownership, so there's no one person who owns any particular annotation. And not only is there a bazaar of collaborators, it's really a sort of bazaar of bazaars because there's lots of different collaborative projects. Um, and what, we, what we're trying to do um, uh, with building annotations further into the platform is to make it easier to build um, new types of projects on top of, uh, of annotations. Um, so that there's no barriers. If you th think of some new property that you want to annotate, um, uh, there should be as little barrier as possible to you going off and doing that. Um, so here's a short example with uh, article content in Wiki. Uh, this is article content in WikiText. This is the um, uh, illustrates how we annotate content for translation. Um, Wikitext is our internal uh, markup format, and I'll return to that in a little bit. But uh, So this is just some, some content. Um, the first step we do is to uh, mark the annotated regions, which we do with explicitly in Wikitext with the, these sort of things which look like pseudo HTML tags. Um, and uh, then we have a translation UI, which uh, shows you those uh, marked up regions. Um, and it lets the translator go ahead and translate each one. This is being translated into Italian, it looks like. Um, and then, of course, because it's Wikipedia, the, quickly, the original article quickly gets changed. Um, and then we have uh, a UI to migrate those changes to the new version of the article. So first, uh, you know, do, do, do these, including little, little details like, does this change actually invalidate the translation? Maybe it was just a copy editing change, uh, fu fixing punctuation or something, and the original translation can be used. Um, and uh, once you've done that, that notifies the translators to update the translation. So here are the, the important properties of annotated content on our projects. First, the annotation is generally transformative. It's some independent, independent piece of content um, with a relationship to the base, and both require maintenance. Um, it's not like there's a sort of parent and a, and a less important child. Um, they're both sort of co-equal. And the desired property is that the annotation is, is decoupled from changes to the base text because the base text is going to change. Um, further, the original author doesn't need to update the translation at the same time they're updating the, the, the um, base text. And in fact, in many cases, they can't, right? They don't speak that language. Um, the annotation is associated with a specific revision of the base content, although that revision might not stay current long. Um, and there's an explicit migration process, which is slightly different for each type of annotation we support. Um, we can't simply assume that the annotation is going to apply after the edits have been made, although we can provide good tools to migrate them quickly when the annotation does, uh, does apply. Um, and finally, as a cultural matter, we've found um, that it's important to make it very obvious when th something needs, is broken and needs to be fixed. So when an edit is made to Wikipedia, it goes live immediately. So if the edit is wrong, it quickly gets noticed and reverted. Similarly, if, the, if an edit invalidates the translation, we make that very obvious. It, uh, usually we display the untranslated text for that, for that paragraph so that speakers of that language can quickly notice that something's wrong and make a change um, and, and update the translation. Um, and finally, we're always concerned with uh, annotation visibility slash invisibility. Um, we don't want to ever produce, insert too many barriers to people making edits to the base content, right? So we have this kind of our infrastructure of stuff on top of the base content, but the key is um, none of them should interfere with each other. Um, and in fact, there's, uh, 
there are some projects we haven't done yet because we couldn't figure out how to make them possible without interfering with the base content too much. Um, and as mentioned before, there's lots of ed authors and lots of annotators con collaborating. There's also many an different annotation projects. So translation is just one instance. Um, so here are some others on Wikipedia. These are all uh, uh, existing. Um, so we have a system to convert between writing systems for certain Wikipedias, between Cyrillic and Latin scripts, for example, or between simplified and traditional Chinese. Um, and we use inline annotations to mark exceptions to the automatic conversion process. So this, this is the word for computer. This is written in different ways. If our automatic translation, uh, transliteration process doesn't understand it, there's an explicit annotation that goes along with that. Um, we obviously care a lot about citations in Wikipedia, but our citations currently are just footnotes, they mark a specific point in the text, right? What we would really like to do is mark the entire region that is supported by a, a specific citation. Um, we support conversations between editors currently using the sort of invisible markup with the HTML comment syntax, which uh, isn't great, but it's very necessary. It's usually used to explain, for example, there's a reason why in this article color is spelled consistently with a U. Please don't change it, because otherwise it just wastes everyone's time. Um, and that's a, a sort of simplified version. You know, when you get into like political debates and, and other stuff, um, uh, those comments are really important, but they're not part of the reader's uh, uh, view. They're part of the editor's view. Um, the Wikisource project is a project to transcribe scanned documents, scanned PDFs, and it uses its own ad hoc uh, system for maintaining correspondences between the transcribed region and the, the part of the PDF that, that, that is a transcription for. Um, and a lot of uh, the social processes that we use just to maintain the encyclopedia use tags or templates in the, Wikipa in the wiki text, like the fam famous uh, citation needed template. Um, and so those can also be considered uh, a sort of form of annotation on top of it. Um, uh, on top of the base content. So there's also new use cases that we'd like to do where we're constrained um, by the visibility of the annotation in the source document or just by the overhead. Currently all of our annotations are kind of ad hoc um, done in different ways and that, that, that imposes a big barrier to entry to using it for new stuff. So for example, we would like to use annotations to represent proposed edits or approved revisions. Uh, representing that in line in the wiki text would be very uh, cumbersome. Um, we have a project uh, currently underway to do media annotations on Wikimedia Commons where we've got sort of rich, uh, rich file formats, uh, images, me uh, video, audio, that sort of thing. Um, there are fine-grained translation correspondences, so um, down at the, the individual, uh, an article in Spanish Wikipedia is not generally a, trans, a straight translation of the article in English Wikipedia, but there might be certain sections which are translated from one to the other. We'd like to maintain those correspondences closer and use them to eventually to, to train machine translation tools. Um, we, we have a project called Wikispeech, which makes our articles um, accessible to visually impaired people. Um, we'd like to annotate uh, words which require specific pronunciation hints in the same way that we do for sort of the language conversion section. Um, uh, we would also like to incorporate more presentational annotations. Our content's being used in a lot more different formats. We'd like to sort of upgrade the, the sort of visual look of Wikipedia and use pull quotes or fancy figure references or for mobile, uh, for example, there's a lead image which is displayed at the, the sort of top of the, uh, of the page. We'd like to use some sort of annotation to mark which of the images in this article is actually the lead image, um, whether it should be displayed full width, whether it's uh, a portrait or landscape, all sorts of uh, different uh, tweaks. Um, so um, here are some of the issues, and the, this is sort of the reason I'm here and the things I'd like to talk to you over uh, today, and, and I'll be here tomorrow as well. Um, some of these are, are more or less settled. Uh, so the, this is the, the, the slide for things we sort of have a good answer to, um, but uh, seem to be uh, in common with, with, with things I've heard from, from the rest of you today. One is how to name the document. We both have a sort of name for the article as well as a, a name for the specific revision of the article. Um, and uh, when I'm, if I want to sort of interoperate with other people, when you're looking at the article, the URL in your, your browser is that top thing, but what we actually store the annotations are is that specific revision, which is something different. Um, where to store the annotations? We, we, um, we actually have a, a, a um, uh, sort of a refactoring of our underlying backend called multi-content revisions, which will make it a, a lot easier to store a bunch of associated content with, with an article in, in, a, in our database. Um, and so that's, that's coming down the pike. That's how we plan to, to store them in the future. Um, but it means that potentially we give up interoperability because you can't 
ping the hypothesis service and see that there are annotations on this article. Um, also, how to anchor the annotations. So I showed you wiki text, um, which is still the way a lot of our sort of power users use. Um, and there's also, but that doesn't apply directly to the rendered HTML that you see on the page. Um, and we're transitioning to a sort of editable HTML, which has a lot more of the, um, uh, the metadata associated with it in line that, that's used to actually edit the, uh, the content, like where it, uh, if there's a template included on the page where the template starts and ends and things like that. Um, so we have a spec for that. Um, so basically, we'd anchor the annotations in, in all three of those ways, likely, um, to make them it most useful for, for different uses. Um, and then, um, Content types, most of these annotations are not plain text, the things I just described. Um, as, for example, just like the, the simple content translation uh, one, the, the, it's wiki text, not really plain text. So there's some question of interoperability. If we just give this to you to display, you can see that there's annotation here, but you might not know what to do with it. Um, the, I, the, the, the question of how to migrate annotations between the revisions is sort of fundamental for us, and I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all model there. Um, different uh, uses will have different sorts of tolerances for fuzzy matches and things like that. I'd love to, to collaborate on a more robust uh, underlying layer that we can all share to sort of encapsulate some of the best practices there. Um, also, how to export the annotations for interoperability, uh, sort of at an API level, how do we, other than you know, being in front of a wonderful conference like this and saying, hey, there are annotations hidden inside, Wiki, inside Wikipedia, how do, how do we make that discoverable and how do we make it easier for sort of multi, uh, we'll call multi-annotation browsers to sort of surface this stuff. Um, and then ecosystem, what we'd really like to do is see where the fact that we're using a standard format will al allow uh, new things that we couldn't do by ourselves. Um, and if we're storing all our content in wiki text, which no one else other than us can parse, and we're storing it in our own backend, and no one really knows it's there, you know, we're, we're kind of missing a lot of the, the, the ability to sort of uh, build a better ecosystem around annotations in general. Um, and so I'd love to talk to you all. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in citations. That's, that, that's probably the sort of first thing there that we could build an ecosystem around. Um, but we also have lots of media, people who are interested in just sort of the general process of annotating uh, media. We'd love to sort of collaborate on that uh, and make our annotations more visible to other people there. Um, so that's all I have. Thank you very much. And I should say that the, all this article, this um, talk's published. Uh, you can get it either from my user page on, on Wikipedia or we'll try to put the link um, in the agenda somewhere. Uh, and you've noticed there were a lot of hyperlinks there, so if you're interested in diving deeper into any one of those use cases, you can click around or just talk to me. Thanks.